Hi everyone, Dutch Reacher here, and uh, welcome to this latest Focus Friday video. Thanks for uh, for watching again. If you're already uh, subscribing, then uh, thank you very much. And if you're uh, you're not, then please uh, please consider by pressing the small uh, butterfly fish icon on the bottom right, I think, of this video, or just uh, through the channel. Today uh, we're going to uh, discuss uh, one of the fish in my tank, or actually uh, two pair of fish that I have in my tank, and those are dragonets. Dragonets are uh, pretty small fish, uh, although yesterday I saw a, a, a huge one, which was actually over, I think it was around 10, 10 centimeters, if I remember correctly. It was uh, really beautiful, I forgot the name, but it was really big. Usually dragonets are uh, rather small, so the main uh, advantage of that is that you can keep them uh, in a fairly small tank or that you can keep more than one in a, in a somewhat bigger tank. Um, dragonets are also uh, more commonly referred to uh, as uh, blennies or scooters or scooter blennies. Um, they are uh, a very well, well odd fish, if you uh, if you might uh, say you can say, because they are um, well the way they uh, they move is quite uh, uh, interesting. They use their uh, fins to uh, almost walk on the sand and uh, move around, looking between the rocks for food, because that's what they do actually all day. So uh, that's all, uh, also one of the uh, main requirements of your tank is that you uh, either have a lot of um, small uh, creatures living in your tank, so a good um, a healthy system with a lot of uh, small, like for example cobra pods or very small shrimp that are living between your rocks and in the sand and everywhere or that you uh, actually feed quite a lot because these fish are pretty demanding on food especially since they are very slow eaters so enough uh, of the theory let's uh, zoom in a little bit and see if we can spot them I have two pair of, uh, of dragonets um, one pair is a male and a female um, mandarin is what they are called Mandarin dragon nets, I think. I think they're even called the green mandarin, as you can see. I think it looks somewhat more blue, but I can see there's also some hints of green in them, so uh, I can see where they're uh, coming from. So this is uh, the blue one, I think. This is the female. Ah, here it comes. Yeah, this is definitely the female. Um, and then we'll see later if we can find the male as well. So as you can see, like I said before, they are moving uh, a fairly particular way. So moving slowly, bit by bit, almost jumping <coughs> over the rocks and over the, the sand in your tank. And uh, that way they're uh, constantly looking for food. So this one has moved away for a bit. Let's see if we can... Uh, find uh, some other ah yeah so here's the other type of uh, dragonet that is in my tank this is a uh, there's a few names for them they're uh, called red wine scooters or um, uh, ruby red dragonet something like that so if you refer to them as the in these names, then you will definitely uh, be able to find them in your uh, local fish store or online. And um, yeah, it's it's uh, perfectly possible to uh, to keep these fish. Uh, um, so to keep oh here's the 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 male one as well. So the, the the green blue one, but the male. But it's moving to the back a little bit, so. It's kind of hard to uh, to follow these fish. They're not very um, fond of the camera, so they move away quite easily. 
but this way you can see this one. So like I mentioned, uh, it's possible to keep different species in the same tank. I don't know if it's possible for all species to keep them together, but they are friendly, uh, friendly fish, not very competitive towards each other. Uh, so I think it, it's possible to uh, at least for it's possible to keep the the green ones and the red ones together. Although they are food competitors, they are not uh, aggressive towards each other. And they are actually very nice fish to keep. They're very interesting fish, uh, not only because uh, they are different than the normal fish, but also because if you keep a pair uh, and they will, you have a big chance that they will like each other and they will also uh, perform, uh, mating, uh, perform mating rituals, which is actually very entertaining to watch. Um, the, the male will typically um, uh, move its dorsal fin up and it's very beautiful although it doesn't do it a lot and then it will try to impress the female and they will actually dance in the water moving around each other and in that way performing a, a mating ritual which is uh, very entertaining to see So I'm glad that I'm uh, able to show you uh, the, especially the red ones since they're somewhat more shy than the, the blue-green ones. And I just think these are, are beautiful fish. So like I said, you don't need a big tank for these fish, but you do need, need uh, enough food supply for them. So uh, if you're having a somewhat smaller tank, uh, make sure it's either pretty mature with enough of a live rock which will uh, uh, provide uh, enough food for these, uh, these fish. And um, I, I think, yeah, it's not recommended if you just set up your tank and have it for like two or three months or four months, then you might not want to buy these fish yet, but if it has been running for eight to twelve months or longer then it's definitely possible to add these fish and you can see if they are doing okay because if they're not they will get very thin and then you know that you either have to move them out or uh, start feeding them uh, a bit more so they will generally also eat from the stuff that you add so if for example mice they will look for the small parts that you add into the tank but then again, they are very, very, very slow eaters. Sometimes a piece of mice might be next to them and they might take like a minute to, uh, to, to eat it or to grab it. They are really slow. So make sure that you uh, take that into account, especially if you have uh, fast eaters. Uh, then it, uh, these fish are very prone to being underfed and that would be, of course be a shame because, uh, well, they're living creatures. And uh, it's always a shame if, you, uh, if a fish doesn't get to feed enough because of the food competition in the tank. So let's see if we can take this one on video for the last shot of this video. I hope it comes towards the camera. Yeah, it seems like it does. This is the male blue green one I think this is uh, the most beautiful one the biggest one as well ah, there it goes again So as you might have guessed uh, from this video, I am uh, very happy to have these fish in my tank. I can recommend them to you as well. If, you, uh, if your tank uh, is uh, uh, mature enough uh, and or if you feed enough. Um, and yeah, they are very rewarding fish. Very small, they don't have a high bio load, so they are actually the perfect fish for a well mature tank. So that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.